Drag clicking on a mouse is pretty simple. You could just go ahead and drag click on it. But the thing is, you'll get the CPS, but you don't really have a lot of control over it. That's why you need to be able to hold the mouse, drag click, long drag, and pretty much do everything with it while holding the mouse. This way, you can control your mouse while you're aiming, and everything just becomes easier. First, you're gonna prepare your mouse to drag click. If you use your hands on this mouse before, your hands are gonna lose skin cells. That's just obvious because you're putting friction on the mouse, so why aren't there any residue from your fingers? You're gonna need to learn how to long drag while holding the mouse before you're able to short drag. This is because it requires the similar movement of short dragging and long dragging. Grip the mouse with your thumb, pinky, and ring finger. The ring finger is very important. Don't just grab it with your thumb and pinky because that'll make your aim really shaky and uncontrollable. So, always use your ring finger and you get a lot more stable control. Next, you're gonna half click. Half click into the mouse. You're not gonna fully click, but you're gonna half click. Then you're just gonna drag your finger across. When I'm dragging over the A70, I have my middle finger stiffened. So what this does, it just keeps constant pressure and just lets my finger drag over the mouse. And while I'm dragging over the mouse, Notice how my thumb and ring and pinky are bending and pushing the mouse kind of backwards for my middle finger just to stay in place. If you don't want your mouse to move down, you could press into the mouse and do the same thing, except you're going to move your wrist a little bit more. Without tape on the A70, you should be getting around 50 CPS easily. Once you have understood the basics of hold mouse long drag, you're ready to learn short drag as well. Flexing your middle finger, and you're just using your wrist motion instead of actually the middle finger itself to long drag across the mouse. It's the same for short drag as well. You're gonna put your palm on the mouse, press it down so that the aim doesn't move, because you don't want your aim to move while you're god bridging, which is the whole point of hold mouse short drag. To learn how to effectively Hold mouse short drag, you're gonna need to learn the placement of how your hand fits on the mouse. What I do is I look for the point of my finger, I just leave it resting a little bit outside of the mouse, hold it down, and then bring my middle finger up like that. Not, I'm not flipping someone off. Once you have learned the correct hand placement that fits for you, it's time for you to learn how to short drag. Remember, hold mouse short drag requires pretty perfect texture, so if your hands are sweaty, just like wipe it off on your desk or something. Okay, a lot of mistakes that beginners do is they start doing this when they try to short drag, and even I can't go. The correct way is resting your finger just on the mouse, keeping this part of your joint stiff, but this part loose, and you're just pushing down using this part of your joint. That way, you're able to get really high CPS. And when you first do this, you're not gonna be able to go as fast as I am right now. That's because, obviously, after months of practice, I'm able to just develop muscle memory, but this should come really fast for you if you just learn how to practice it correctly. I recommend going slowly first, just trying to find that drag texture, going from hard, and then super soft, and then just somewhere in the middle to find that little texture, to find that perfect pressure, and just start slow. Start slow, start long. If you can, just keep on speeding it up until you get that Godbridge rhythm. If you thought that this was gonna be way harder than how I just explained it, it's really not. It's a really simple concept. Just make sure if everything's done correctly, your hold mouse short drag should be well over 20 CPS. If this tutorial helped out in any way, please let me know in the comments or just leave a like so that I get some kind of feedback from my videos. If you want more tutorials like this in your recommendations page, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.